Hi there, my name is Anna Moxa. I'm one of the co-founders of Carousel Learning and I'm a, also a head of science working in North London. Uh, and I'm gonna be showing you around the uh, new Platinum um, account system, which is what we're really excited um, to have been able to launch this September. Uh, the Platinum account is for, Platinum subscription is for uh, departments or entire schools. So essentially anytime you've got multiple teachers working within one school, uh, it makes more sense to have a Platinum account because it allows you to collaborate on individual classes um, and centralize a lot of uh, hard work that would otherwise have to be done by individuals. Um, there are two, before we get started, there are two types of Platinum account. One type of Platinum account is called with MIS integration, and the other is called without MIS integration. MIS is management information system. That's your like Sims or Bromcom or Arbor. It's wherever you keep your student lists and data. And essentially, if you ask us to, we can take all of that and kind of spray it into Carousel. So automatically populate Carousel with your classes and subjects the students that you teach. Um, if you have MIS integration, then this video is for you. If you do not have MIS integration, then there's a bit more work that you'll need to do. And I'm going to do a different video for you guys. But of course, please remember anytime you can switch to MIS integration. So if you don't have MIS integration, you want to see what that looks like, then you can carry on watching this video, of course. Uh, anyway, right, where were we? Okay, so uh, this is the dashboard and it's what you'll, um, uh, what you'll kind of be used to. It's just the same setup as we had before, but there is two, a couple of small changes. The first is up here, you can see it says Platinum, so that's the, uh, the level of your account. And also down here by my classes, you can see there's no button for adding a new class. Um, and there's no way to edit a class. That's because you shouldn't be doing that in Carousel anymore. That's because if you make those changes in Sims or Arbor or Bromcom, uh, your data manager does that, moves a kid into your class or out of your class, whatever, that change then feeds through automatically into Carousel. So that will be done for you. So you don't need to worry about any of that. There is one other change that I'll get back to a bit later on. If you go into my account over here, so that's where you see your name and you can put a photo of yourself and it tells you what kind of account you've got. Um, and please, I would urge you to um, agree uh, to opt into the marketing preferences. This is where we'll send you um, like really important updates. So when we get released a new feature uh, or when we release a blog that talks about, you know, how to get the most out of Carousel, um, that's that's how we can ensure that you'll get it. We're not going to sell your data. We're not going to allow third parties to use those for marketing purposes. So you're not going to get an email from some random company trying to sell you stuff. Please, um, if you do want to get that stuff, so the blogs, videos, new features, then definitely click on that. If when you go into subjects over here, this is so important that you do fill this out. Like I said, the MIS integration does most of the work for you, but there are a couple of bits and pieces you do need to do. And this is one of them. So this is here, a list of the subjects that we hold in Carousel. And this is a list of the subjects that we, you have in your management information system. What do I mean by that? Let's say in Carousel, you want to teach, um, I don't know, um, food preparation and nutrition. Fine. That's what you want to do. That's what you want to call it in Carousel. But your management information system, for whatever reason, calls that, say, I don't know, home economics. So you go in here and you can see that it says there's one. Oh, where is it? It's such a long list. Let's go. Home economics. There we go. Home economics right there. If you don't link those, then the two won't talk to each other. So in Carousel, you'll be trying to do quizzes on food prep and nutrition, but your MIS is telling you, well, we don't have that subject. We have home economics and the two won't talk together really nicely. So just make sure those are lined up. I'm actually just gonna delete that because I don't really need it. You're then gonna go into users up here. Um, and here you can see a list of everyone who's got um, an email with, uh, sorry, anyone, anyone who's part of your school or part of your account. Um, and so if they're in your management information system, they've got an email that says teacher next to them, they will be in this list um, and you can invite them to, to use their carousel account. And that means they can reset their own password and things like that. All you do is you click on the meatballs, these three dots that are next to the name and you just press invite and they'll get an email. Done, so far so good. Uh, and again, you don't need to edit that because your management information system does it for you and it just feeds through automatically. You then go into the student area. And this has got a list of every student in your school, their year group. Um, and again, it's filterable and searchable. Uh, and going this way, you've got every class and every teacher of that class. So here you've got Miss um, Peters who teaches this science class, you've got Mr. Andrews who teaches this um, science class, etc. And again, these options are grayed out because you don't need them. Um, you don't need to upload or remove students because that all gets done in your management information system. Any change that happens in Sims or Arbor or Bromcom or whatever, that will just feed through automatically into here. The final thing that I'm going to show you um, in the Platinum account is if you go into the dashboard, 
um, you can see there's a different type, there's a different color of quiz here. So this one says school. What that means is that it's a quiz bank that I've uploaded that only people in my school can see. It goes into the community. So this one is called quiz two. Um, it's called quiz two. So when I go into the community area, I can see it popping up here, quiz two here, and it comes right at the beginning. Now, if you're not a member of my school, you won't be able to see this. So whereas you'll be able to see all of this, everything else, and you can search for everything else, you know, anything that someone's put onto community you can find. If it's a school one, you can't see it. That's just held within our school, but it appears first in the search and it's purple and it means that anyone from within your school um, can really easily just get hold of that. Okay, uh, that's all we've got time for now. There are also um, analytics that you can do across the school, um, but I'll do that in a future video um, in time. For the minute, if you have any questions or comments or feedback or suggestion or anything you want to know more about, please do feel free to get in touch via the email um, that you received when you first signed up. Happy quizzing!